Hello, Mrs. Mack. It's good to see you. It's good to see you, too. You're looking well. Fine. Look, I have a lot of things I have to be doing upstairs. I'll be there, huh? Okay. So, um, how was your trip? It was fine. Um, I've been worried about you. I'm cool. Where have you been? Around. Around where? What's with the questions? I'm doing okay, you know? No, I don't know. I always told you I can take care of myself. I know you always tell me that. I never believe you. I didn't come here to argue with you, Mrs. Mack. You still with Reuben? Sometimes. Okay. Tell me what happened. We didn't do anything. You were there. We were desperate. We needed cash. For what? We were broke. When you're broke, you need cash. You could have come to me. Oh, sure. Borrow money from you that we, we could never even pay back. Oh, I see. So, of course, stealing is better. Nobody stole nothing. We couldn't. We? I. I couldn't. I mean, after all you've done for me. How could I? But Reuben could? No. You don't know him the way I do. I know what he's done to you. No, you don't. Pilara. Look, he didn't set no fire. He didn't. Okay. Let's let's not talk about Reuben. I, mean, I could never do anything to hurt you. Neither could Reuben. Are you hungry? No. Oh, I don't believe that. Why don't you stay for dinner? I can't. It's going to be good. I'm cooking, but it is going to be good. Even Vince says so. I can't sit across from you and him, knowing what you think. I don't blame you for anything. Bilara, I don't. Not you. So long, Mrs. Matt. Where are you going? I'm going to Reuben. Too close. I, I care about Josie a lot. I know you do, honey. I, it never used to happen before, but lately, lately, I, I look at her and I feel like... You, you feel what, honey? I feel like I can't function, like I can't even carry on a normal, normal conversation with her anymore. Is this making any sense it to you? Well, it's beginning to, yes. I, all, my mind wanders. It's gone. I, all I can think about is... Damn it. Why is this so hard to talk about? Honey, I think you're doing just fine. No, I sound like some 12-year-old. No, you don't. You sound like a caring, very responsible young man. No, well, look. Look what the mess Jamie's in right I now. I know, I'm aware of that. And Sam and Amanda. Honey. Josie doesn't have to get pregnant. Yeah, well, that's not it. It's not, it's Josie. It's Josie. I look at her and she's sure. She's positive. And if I, if we. If, if you make love, you're afraid that maybe she will believe that you're sure too. Is that it? Yeah, well, maybe I am. Right. Maybe I am sure. I don't know. This is driving me honey, crazy. Honey, I don't you, know what... You've got to stop walking around. You're trying to make me nauseous. Uh -huh. Let's sit down. All right, now. Now. You know, when I was your age... Yes, I know. I hate people who say things like that, don't mm -hmm. you? It doesn't matter what my age is. The point is... I was very much in love with somebody. And it drove me crazy, just like this is driving you crazy. And I was very confused, just like you. What'd you do? The wrong thing for me. The wrong thing? Well, I wasn't functioning any better than you are. So I decided that, <clears throat> well, I shouldn't hold back anything. Well, later I found out that that was a terrible mistake. And um, I had to live with that for the rest of my life. So you think it would be a mistake for me and Josie? No, no, not necessarily. I just, I just 
think you should try and be patient to really know what it is that you want. No, I, 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 I couldn't stand it if I hurt her. <sighs> I just think you should think about it a little more. Just think about what it would mean to the two of you. You know, long run if you should. S sleep together. Right. I'd be careful. Oh, I know you would. Of course you would. It's just that if you have any doubts about anything, I think you should, should wait. Wait. I guess that's not exactly what you wanted to hear, is it? That's what you think? No. That isn't what's important. It doesn't matter what I think. What's important is what you think, right? You're right. You're right. And, and I think you should talk to your father. I mean, maybe he could, he could give you some advice, help you, you know, no, in the way no, I No, 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 no. This is nothing anyone can help me with this. This is something I have to deal with on my own. I'm going to deal with it. No. I'm going to take this on my own. I'm going to take stock of myself and work this out myself. Hi, Matt. And I'll make my own decisions. Thank you. Good, Matt. What the hell was that all about? Hormones. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Matthew! Oh. No, sorry to disappoint you. Hi, John. Oh, is your mother back from her errands yet? Uh, no, no, she isn't. She should be back soon, though. Okay, I'll wait. Well, I don't know how soon she'll be back. I don't care. I'll wait. You're you're upset. No, I'm not upset, Josie. I'm angry. I'm really mad. Well, I don't even know where she is, John. Just what is it, Josie? What is she doing that's so important she's willing to give up everything right now? So, how can we work this out then? How? Yes, how much of a down payment would you need? How much a month? You want this piece very badly. Yes, I do. Yes, it, well, it's a gift. It's for a friend. You have very expensive taste in gifts and very fortunate friends. So, so can we work this out? A layaway plan, hmm? Yes, I have to have this. It's really not our policy. We're cash and carry. Well, you see, the, I, I don't have a whole lot of cash. That's the point. Yes, well... Make me an offer. An offer? I think it's best if we both understand one another. Well, I... I want the necklace. What else is there to understand? You want it, and I have it. That's right. The question is... What can you do for me? <laughs> <laughs> 